Hi, I'm Carlton, KI4NHK, and I'm going to show you how to fill a uh, free unmanned uh, balloon, uh, also known as a near space balloon or high altitude balloon, uh, formerly known as a highball, uh, using a latex sounding balloon and filling with uh, hydrogen. Uh, everybody will be wearing gloves to uh, keep uh, skin oils and uh, other dirt off the balloon as we unpack it, and everybody is going to be uh, around it just to make sure that it doesn't get blown away in the wind so we can get it up way off the ground. Uh, when we fill with uh, hydrogen, you always want to make sure you have a regulator that's uh, for the appropriate uh, lifting gas you're using. Uh, you don't want to take this uh, 3,000 PSI uh, directly to a balloon, even through the valve, uh, as these balloons are designed to pop at a half PSI differential. Okay, we're going to uh, take our fill nozzle and then put it into the nozzle of the balloon and then we're going to secure it with wire ties uh, that will hold it together while we fill the balloon and then we can uh, measure from the bottom of the nozzle here with this loop for uh, how much uh, free lift the balloon is giving us, which would be the, the lift, total lift of the gas minus the weight of the balloon. Get that over a little ways, but still give us enough where we can pinch it off when we have to pull this back out. We will attach these on here at the bottom securely. So a couple of them. And we will cut off these ends. They won't be in our way for the time being. All right. There are generally two methods for measuring the uh, fill into a balloon. I'll be showing you both. One is to use a pre-metered amount of water in a jug and uh, when that just starts to lift off the ground, you have reached the, that amount of uh, free lift. The other will be using a uh, normal fish scale and uh, measuring with that. There's uh, advantages and drawbacks to both. I'll, I'll show you both methods. Can I get some people with gloves? Over here, I'm going to start letting this out carefully. Keep it filled. And bring it this way. That's actually keep it close. Just hold it balled up in your hands. That's fine. All right. I've got to open the regulator. Whistling, whist, whistling sound is normal. Occasionally there will also be an initial pop, uh, just uh, some oxygen mixing with the hydrogen uh, left in the uh, tube.
cave right there where that starts to bob off the ground. You're using the uh, water method uh, to know your free lift. That's where you would stop and tie off the balloon. At this point, pull this down. Disconnect this and attach fish scale under the hook here, setting it on, zero, and we will continue on to our desired lift, which is actually going to be the lift uh, minus the weight of the regulator because that won't be flying, and we will go into uh, two point one three kilos. Okay, go ahead. One of the issues with many uh, digital fish scales is that they will actually uh, lock on a value uh, if they're uh, set the same weight too long based on uh, to make it easier to read the weight of a fish that's flopping around. So that's something you may have to occasionally check to make sure that it hasn't uh, locked a, a reading. as close to 2.13 as we're going to get, 2.16, so we'll fly with that. Now we'll move this. Alright, now that we have the right amount of lifting gas in the balloon, one of the most difficult parts is actually removing the uh, fill nozzle from the balloon and tying it off. So we'll be done, we'll be squeezing it in the extra neck space I give up here, and I will actually just be cutting the rest away from down here. Thank you. And we will pull that out. At which point then we will start to tie it off. And I'm going to wrap my cord around a couple of times. I'm going to fold my neck over that. And if I can get someone to actually hold this fold over right there tightly. Thank you. We will tie this off. Use a knot that you uh, trust to hold securely. I'm basically just using a square knot, locking knot. Now I'll put another square knot on it. And the duct tape. Discard that. Start with one long piece of duct tape. Got it. I'm going to start here around my neck and pinch it tight. We're going to go around and around. Right. And the roll. Right, the 
have said six things. Yeah. Okay. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. I'm going to start here now. And now I'm just going to keep going all the way down. And if I can trade places with you. Here on the top. Thank you. We get this from here, and we will go on down the string, covering the knots, we'll lock them in place. Very effective. Yeah. Keep this flat and straight. Once it's down the string, then I'm going to go back up. So my nozzle here. Put the string down here. I'm paying third side on the second side. Around. I started going over two months ago. Out of the yeah. I'm like, what, what changed? All right, now we're going to hold Basically, by the string. We'll One go. But I'm we're ready for flight. All right, everybody, make sure all your electronics is on. Make sure every, all the uh, call signs are heard. Everything's decoding. Cameras are on.